tired of y'all. Happy Monday. I'm tired as hell. And I'm trying to get this hair together. We are gonna see if I can actually do it. Okay. That's just a real strong curl. Real strong. I don't know how she do these little pink curls, huh? I think she combed it out. And then she twisted. Bam. It ain't exactly right, but it's gonna work for the thing. All right, let's see how I turn out. I wanted to show y'all my outfit before I took it off because I'm tired and I made it home from work. So I got this black dress on from Shein. She in it all right. And my black Doc Martens, if you can see, it's giving like, you know, goth chic kind of vibes. I um paired it with a jean jacket. Just a regular old bag, but yeah, today was super busy at first and it didn't even happen. I was running late, of course, because I tried to put some curls in my head. I think I did okay, but thought I had extra time that I didn't have and was running behind. But right now I'm about to get ready for bed and, um, uh, Mary, why are you laughing? I'm sorry. You have your view. <laughs> no. So, tomorrow I have to get my little procedure done. So, I'm going to tidy up around the house so that when I get home, because I don't know how I'm going to feel. She told me what the name of the shot was, but I still cannot remember. I cannot remember. So, But it's supposed to alleviate the back pain that I've been experiencing in my lower back. So, I'm excited about that. But anywho, so about to straighten tidy up. I'm not gonna do too much because my back is hurting. What I've been taking was a leave so that my back wouldn't hurt, but I couldn't take a leave for like three days before this shot thing. So yeah, my back hurt. And cleaning up is gonna make it worse. So I'm debating on if I want to or not. And then unpack. I still need to unpack from Atlanta. Mammy, did you have fun? I had a blast. <laughs> Lots of laughs and giggles. Yeah, I saw the kiki mm. in the building. Mm -hmm. So, did you download Hinge, Mammy, or did you say you weren't going to do that anymore? I'm over it. Me too. Point, somebody just put me on a blind date because that's one thing I haven't done. I've been on the blind date. You remember that? Oh, when what's name hooked you up on the blind date? Yeah, she hooked me up on the blind date, y'all. But this was how long? Twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen. Was it earlier than that? I don't know. It wasn't that long ago. Probably like twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen. Okay. So she hooked me up with this guy. Um. She said he was nice looking, had a good job, you know, all that good stuff. So I thought, okay, I'll go. So I got cute or whatever. We went to Outback, which is one of my spots too, but we went to Outback. And so we was talking or whatever. And like, he was a really, really nice guy. He was attractive. He was funny. And he told me how many kids he had. Now... I don't care. I mean, I ain't gonna say I don't care how many kids you got, but what you said? I said, because I do. <laughs> you gonna come to me with no bag full of kids? No. But if you're taking care of them and they all by the same lady. Yeah. I don't want no bag with no 10 kids. Get out of here. So he had like seven or eight kids. And so, <laughs> but. <laughs> But he take care of me at a really good job. So, I mean, it didn't bother me or whatever. But he, uh, like, when she matched us together, she was like, 
you know, I was his type. And like he was like he had to go do something. And I was like, okay. And he uh we talked like that night or whatever. But that's kind of pretty much where it ended. And then come to find out, I think he talked to my friend. And she was like, he felt like when he told me how many kids he had, it was a deal breaker. But I didn't give him that vibe at all. Like, I was so confused. I just let it go. He got arrested a couple weeks later. So, Gracious. you know, everything happens for a reason. But, I mean, he was a nice guy. I don't know. I don't remember what it was for that he got arrested for. It might even not have been a couple of weeks, probably like a year or so after that. But, you know, you can't assume people feel a certain type of way when you tell them something about yourself. You just got to be open and let someone tell you how they feel. Don't assume. The truth. But yeah, I never told you. Would go ahead and say, is that a deal breaker? You're right. That, that would be a good follow-up question. Is that a deal breaker? Versus just, you know, shutting down. <clears throat> but I mean, it is what it is. Everything happens for a reason. I ain't, I ain't tripping on it. I ain't tripping, no. I'm sipping, no. And my homeboy say he got a baby. As I'm single. Yeah, I'm single. Yeah, I'm willing to go on a blind date or speed dating. Those are two things I haven't done yet. Now, if it don't work after that. Yeah, if I don't, um, if me and that stripper don't start dating, then. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Tuesday. So I am getting ready to go have this procedure done. I'm nervous. What, to get this shot rather than a procedure? Keep saying procedure. But I'm nervous to get this shot done. Mammy has to take me, so I'm getting dressed and waiting on her. I'm actually on time. I snooze alarm for an entire 30 minutes, but I realized is that I set the alarm for 30 minutes earlier so that I could clean up, but I ended up cleaning up last night. So, and I started some laundry as well. But I figured when I get home, after getting that um, anesthesia, I'm going to be knocked out. So, <clears throat> this morning I'm just putting on some tights and a sort of like super comfortable stuff. I need this on my pants. Putting on super comfortable stuff this morning, so like when I get back, I can just get on in the bed. I'm trying to heat up while I was taking a shower. Ooh, Lord. I need to turn that off. Because it done got hot. They didn't say what to wear, but I just put on tights and a shirt. I mean, they going for my back. They shouldn't, I shouldn't have to just robe fully, hopefully. Oh, my eye itching. <sighs> Let me turn this heat down. But yeah, I'm nervous. Anytime it got something to do with um anesthesia or me going to sleep, who I be scared and be crying, child. I am excited for to see if this is gonna alleviate this back pain that I am excited for because it's been going on far too long and I just wanna not get up every day and my back be hurt. That's really what the goal is. And if you don't know, I had scoliosis surgery when I was like in middle school. And so like lately I've been experiencing like chronic back pain. So hopefully this will be the eight step. It's your birthday. Go air it. It's your birthday. Go air it. I think I can stay in your brain so people don't know what's going on. It's your birthday. Wait, how I go? Good morning. Wait, no. 
Eric. Your mama called. She said, oh, it's your birthday. 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 Thirty six in his beard. Thirty six never looked so good. Here you poo. Tell about it. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Ooh. Thank y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, Grandpa. Who me? Candace, did you did you whisper, Grandpa? Is that what you said? Uh uh. If Randy just look like this, that's why Grandma would call him. Ooh, Grand Zaddy. <laughs> my skin looked clear, but I sure ain't like did nothing in my eye this morning. But took them pins out. I'm skilled. Say good morning. Good morning. Oh, <sighs> Lord. We you feel? Maybe it's showing out of here, y'all. No, the reception is still perfect. <laughs> she said, you tell you to drive. <laughs> so I came back and said, maybe. <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> oh, look at that one curl over there to the side. <laughs> oh, it's on both sides. Is this a match? <laughs> True. <laughs> that one didn't go the other one did. Okay. And we wait. So listen. I'm confused. Right. So they did the IV and everything. And then they came back and was like, oh, we're not doing the IV because it's such a simple procedure and blah, 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 blah. I said, well, well, why didn't y'all tell me y'all wasn't going to do it? Right. Versus I could have just drove myself up here. They was like, um, they were sorry they didn't know. And then I was like, y'all even did the ivy on my hand. So like, what was the point? Y'all wasting people time. Mm -hmm. They kept talking. They were sorry. They were sorry. So I, I was literally asked out on this table. <laughs> I was. Like pretzels. Pretzels? Like the baked soft pretzels. Are you hungry? I am. But what they don't you? change the fact that you just like pretzels. Would you like? What they had in there? They had pretzels? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. They actually had like a whole little snack corral for whatever and was asking me if I want something. No, thank you. Ooh. Sorry. Um, but literally I had to I walked in the thing. I laid down on the table. They pulled my pants down, and I told them I normally charge for this. Right. Don't just be hoisting my pants below me. They hoisted. Oh! Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. You okay? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my soul left my bag. <laughs> ah! Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh,
So I had to lay face down on the table. They pulled my pants down. They lifted that table up. My ass is in the air. Then some man, somebody he just gonna hang out in here for a little while. I said, well, I hope you enjoyed the view. <laughs> you just gonna be hanging out. And then like they know me, it just felt like they stuck a needle in my ass. Which they did. And then um, they had to put a needle in his spine. Well, your spine runs all the way down to the bottom of your ass. Well not the bottom of your ass, but past your crack. Your spine runs all the way down there. But um they numbed me. And then they did this. It was like a couple of different sticks, but it just felt like pressure. It didn't hurt. It just felt like pressure. Mm -hmm. I told her it felt like she was trying to do a little BBL back there. Let me know something, girl. <laughs> and then they had to rotate me on the table. I was like, what are y'all doing? And she was like, oh, we just got to make sure that you're okay to walk. Well, I mean, all y'all had to do is tell me to roll over, not mm -hmm. rolled over. But that was it. It literally didn't take no time. Mm. So y'all know how I told y'all that in the new year, I kind of wanted to kickstart this healthy eating lifestyle. And um, I can't really do keto like that anymore because I've developed acid reflux. So got to kind of stay away from the grease and fatty foods and stuff of that nature. So I've been... been looking into doing like healthier eating but I really didn't know where I could possibly start so and I know previously when I was doing keto intermittent fasting was something that really really helped to me and kick started my journey and would help me even like when I feel like I hit a plateau or hit a wall or anything like that so I'm partnering with do fasting and I'm excited to actually use the app that they have when you go into the app, it lets you get started. It asks you to, you know, enter in your name. And it's, of course, going to be Candace Denise. Um, it asks you some questions about when you're hungry, when you usually eat breakfast, dinner, and what your goal is. And my goal is to basically try it and lose some weight. Um, and so based upon that, it gives you recommendations. So they have 14 hour, 12, 16, 18, and 20. And they give you an explanation of all of it. They even have some for 24 and 36 hours. I ain't going that far yet. And there's also challenges if you want to, you know, challenge yourself. And it helps you get into the rhythm. It tells you what specific times that you need to fast. And it even tells you what time you need to eat your food that is going to be most impactful to your body. It also has a fasting tracker, weekly progress reports, personalized dashboard, meal recommendations. And it has like little articles and things that you can read. This shows you, you know, your overview of the time frame where you're fasting, the time frame of your eating, because sometimes you just need a reminder to let you know where you need to be, kind of keep you on track. And you have to, of course, allow all notifications so that you can be notified and reminded. Because, like, once I downloaded the app, it would send me reminders, okay, you're coming up on your fasting time, because sometimes I forget to eat. If you're anything like me, I, I definitely forget to eat. And so a reminder would help me to stay on track. And so it tells you when you start, what your tasks are for the day. Like I need to go in and update my weight and log my calories and things of that nature. Tracking my calories is going to be extremely, extremely crucial for me to do a calorie deficit diet. And a lot of times I can't figure out what it is that I want to eat. They have different meal options, even 10 minute options because I hate having to, to cook. And the thing that kind of took it over the edge for me is that you know, they have different workouts and stuff because a lot of times, even when you go to the gym, you really don't know what to specifically do. So this app does provide that. And then it also has, like I told y'all before, different articles. And it just shows you your recent fast and how you've been doing your stats so that you can kind of keep up with your progress because no one wants to do anything and feel like they haven't made any progress. So make sure that y'all go download and get to fast and join me on this journey, this healthy journey. New year, new me. Well, new year, same me, just a better me. We'll say it like that.
So I pretty much been laying around and taking it easy all day. My back don't hurt, but it feels like it's pressure like down in my ass area. It does hurt a little bit, but it's more so uncomfortable. It's real uncomfortable. I just been taking it easy because I don't want to do anything to aggravate it or make it worse. So, I got up to take a shower in about two minutes. Wrap, well not wrap my hair, but do something to these little curls. So hold them overnight. Oh, even leaning up. Uh, I definitely have not been around the whole world, but I've been to Mexico four times. Yeah, we're not going to Mexico. Mm -mm. No, we're not. I'm going to have to do some research to find, like, um, not kid friendly, but like teenager friendly places to travel. Because when you show like kid friendly stuff, they be showing like aquariums. Well, not aquariums. There's nothing wrong with that. But they be showing like what do they show? Yeah, I mean we don't want like kitty stuff because you're a teenager, but we still want to go places where yeah, it, fun. We can have fun and it's child friendly and not just like adult stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So, gotta figure that out. Probably gotta find some people who travel with their teenagers or their kids on like TikTok and Instagram or something. You got fun out there? Mm hmm. What all y'all did? Mm. We went to a sipping paint and we just chilled at the house. And I had got on your stream too. I was on it for a little bit. Why? About it, but uh, I forgot. Because I had saw it earlier that day that you was going. Um, you was gonna go live on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm gonna get on it. Girl. I don't think I was talking about nothing crazy, no way. Hold on, let me get my glasses on. Let's see it. Okay, great. That's a 90, 96. The, where it say quarter grade, that's my grade I got on the report card. Where it say progress grades, that's my progress grades. Okay. 87. 87. 84. 86. Mm. Yeah. Keep going. What? Keep going. Uh, that's not going to be on my thing. That's great recovery. If it ain't A's and B's, you won't be getting on the, the thing that started with an A. Huh? If the next report card ain't A's and B's, you won't be getting on anything that started with an A. Just letting you know. Uh, well, at least we can get on a plane. It's called an airplane. Yeah. Smarty. Ain't so smart. So, y'all. Yeah. So, today was filled with nothing, pretty much, because I could not get comfortable. I was restless last night, and I tossed and turned all night long, and my back hurt. And it, like, I can't get comfortable. Like, if I sit for a long time, it hurts. 
If I lay for a long time, it hurts. So I know this feeling is going to go away, but right now it's kind of painful. So I'm just excited to see the sunshine at the end of the rainbow. The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> but yeah, I just worked from home today and that's pretty much all I did. But today is gonna, tomorrow's gonna be better. I just know it will. I'm gonna get up, get dressed. I gotta um, I gotta determine if I'm gonna do this meal plan or who I'm gonna get it through, <sighs> so I can get kick started. Um, I know yesterday I talked about um the do fasting app. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I am going to insert a coupon code in the description box. Also, that you can download the app and save some coins with the subscription. But I am going to, I'm actually going to use the app to help me to track my um, weight loss. I don't have a specific goal in mind. I just, my thing about this year is just being healthier, being a better me. And making better decisions. Because I want to continue to be healthy. Like I'm getting older. Forever young. But I'm getting older. And I just got to make sure that I set myself up for a better life. So that's what I'm going to do. But um, I'm about to go ahead and try to lay down. Try to get some sleep. Because I definitely did not get none last night. I'll be getting my little pen curls. We are on day six. No, tomorrow will be day seven. I would have made it a week, y'all. I'm going to make it a week. I know after this weekend, I'm probably not going to make it because I got some, um, I got a wig review to do. So I already know. But I am still going to try to wash it and wrap it and see what I can do. See what I can do, honey. See what I can do. See what I can do. But yeah, good night, y'all. Okay, so don't mind me. It's today is Thursday. I just got off work. I made it a week with my hat off. I'm finna comb it out though. But I was talking to Mamie, and in my mind, in my mind, in my mind, I can really do these TikTok dances. But when I try to do them, they don't look right. So, it's one I've really been practicing on. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, here you go. All right. Wait. You ready, Mammy? You, Mammy, are you ready? I'm watching. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. You need to move the phone back. That's it. You got it. Oh, I'm talking about I should have told her not to watch that video. Girl. I gotta, I gotta watch it. You want to watch it together? That's fine. I always be wanting to watch it together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me pull it up. It's so cool, y'all. We can watch shows on YouTube together. I'd be so excited to watch stuff with my friends. <laughs> oh, look at that dandruff popping out. Mm, mm, mm. Where's me, video? You see? You see? Yeah, I see it. Can you hear? Yep. Yeah. Isn't that cool, y'all? We can watch videos together. That's me. Eric been talking about these bunt cakes forever from nothing but bunt cakes or something like that. So he said it a few weeks ago and then I put it on my list of things to do and I actually ordered it to pick up Saturday to go to his birthday dinner. So I was talking to him and Mamie earlier and he was like he was going to order some cake. From oh I don't order nothing. 
than it was when I was in Atlanta. <sighs> OMG! Like, it's super, super thick. <sighs> I'm gonna go home and put on a hat. Look at this car. <sighs> I'm gonna go home and put, go home and put on my Uggs. Oh no, I'm gonna put on my rain boots. And I am going outside. It is really snowing. Like, I literally just wiped the snow off and it's still... Look at it on my car, y'all. So, I done made it home, but it's not snow anymore. It's like ice. Slushy ice. But the ground got a little white on it. But yeah, it's just a little white something on the grass. So it's definitely turned to slush. So it's I know it's gonna freeze overnight. Like I felt like when I was when I was on my way home, like I felt like I was sliding a little bit. So I had to be, you know, extra careful, extra precautious because I ain't trying to slip nor slide cross no road but guess what y'all why a rock popped up that lash on the floor scared me why a rock popped up and chipped my window when i was on my way to work so yeah a rock done broke my window but i came here to show y'all what i got on Okay, so this is what I wore to work today. So we got this jean jacket. I actually got this at the men's department in It's Fashion Metro. This Aaliyah t-shirt. Now, I don't wear t-shirts too often, so I put a little cut in to kind of give a little, mm, a little pizzazz, a little something extra. Then have on these blue pants that are part of a two-piece that I got from Lovely Wholesale. And then I wore my little Ben and Jerry's in this bag to go with. Simple yet cute. Y'all, I done put my Crocs in sport mode. It's back snowing again. I 
I just need to get a little more cover so I can scoop it up. So the snow hasn't start really reaching its full potential. Um, so I'm about to watch Netflix and yes, 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 but, um, a new season of Ozark came out today. So we are about to, bam! Oh, Zork it is. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I don't know what my hair is on. Um, I just woke up, showered, and I'm going to go outside and see, you know, like, maybe if it snowed overnight or something, and, you know, I can go walk in it or play in it or something. So we're going to see what we got. Maybe let me close it and open it again. Okay. That's it. for the whole table the whole table which was like 400 some dollars the whole table y'all so y'all know I was pissed to the highest so I'm like okay so when am I gonna get my money back and they was like oh it'll be it'll be three to five business days so like, I'm, like, processing, but I'm pissed off because you just ran $400 for something that was $20. So, they just was like, oh, okay, well, this is what happened. We're sorry about it. It'll be back within X amount of days. Okay, so y'all about to count my meal, right? No, we don't. So, you mean to tell me you ran my car for $400? Four hundred dollars, and then you can't even comp my meal. I was like, "Oh no!" I was like, "Let me get the manager." The manager came over. He was talking that BS. Did not make any sense. Like they were not trying to comp my meal. They're gonna tell me they can take fifteen percent off. Fifteen percent. Now, anybody who knows me knows if if I do something or if I buy something, I, I pay for what I want to pay for. I have no problem paying for anything. When you make customer impacting mistakes like that, 
you need to fix it or at least try to do something to accommodate the customer. I was like, they wouldn't give me the owner's information. So I was like, no, y'all gotta give me the owner's information or I'm not leaving. And they ended up calling the police, but I ended up leaving because I was like, whatever, but I haven't been back since then. And so Eric wanna come here for his birthday, so. We is here. But I really didn't want to come here, but again, it's not about me. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna, you know, mind my business and keep it cute. Hopefully everything goes well. If y'all don't see me for a few weeks, it's because I done got a wrist. Hi. Hey, girl. How you doing? Good, how you feeling? Good, hello, Eric. Hello, Candace. <laughs> Why you got this thing up in my face? Why are y'all outside? Hold on, I'm trying to be on my best behavior. They showing out already. They told me there was no weight. Now all of a sudden there's a weight. We'll see. The air was like the police over there. What? I'm gonna give it. Everybody, we're wrapping up. Oh, I'm trying to look. This. Okay, the camera's right there. I just want to make sure I'm looking at the camera. Hey, y'all, we're wrapping up my 36th birthday. These are my core people. These are people that I talk to every day, and they came out to celebrate me. This Alize, y'all know, Patty and Maddie. <laughs> And we just came out to celebrate. Tom, thank you for the birthday wishes. Y'all, thank y'all so much for all the birthday love. I was in the comments. I know y'all come out with snack. Thank y'all. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about my drink. Which one was it? The, the Pineapple Long Island? Yes, ma'am. I just turned 21. <laughs> Oh, you gotta have a good dinner, so. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, because yeah, we lying. We telling lies, people. What lie did I tell? How old you is? 21. Times. Yeah. One. Yeah. 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 You still need to leave? No, I'm good. Thank you. Classic. Thank you. You put as yogurt Was it? Gyoza. Chills. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Oh boy. Ooh. It's real strong. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Wow. Can I get a little lemon juice? On the side, please. I want you to let me know. <laughs> 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 they got pineapple juice and it's real good. Mm. Girl, where? This is number left. Mm -hmm. It's good. Drink, drink, drink. Ooh. Just a little liquor. I'm not gonna do it. What? 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 Beat the shit out of him. I feel sorry for my deal, man. Right. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. We have a birthday. Happy birthday. Who's birthday? Woo woo. That's it. That's good. It's his birthday, so he can be here. He can have whatever he like. Oh, damn. He can have whatever you like. Hey. That was the eye, right? Uh huh. So you can do whatever you want. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Birthday shot. Open your mouth. Hey. Oh God. Happy birthday. 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 Happy birth
I done got hot. Wait, what? This is lemon. I have a lemon. 
Do some more of them. No. I'm not trying to try, but I don't understand. Great sex. And a whole lot of goddamn money. Yes. On, heavy on the money part. Shot. Because it's not my birthday yet. I took one, it's not my birthday. Your birthday is Wednesday. Birthday oh, is well, you need to get a shot. No, I'm not taking one. Why? This is not about me. This is about Mamie, me. why aren't you taking a shot? I've been drinking. Huh? I've been barely, drinking already. Okay, likewise. Yeah. We've all been drinking. Yeah, you said. I, we've all had another shot and we're having a bag. This, I can't believe this is a little green. I'm going to get a drink. And a shot. Because <laughs> y'all always get into it. Every day. Because she started. And if it ain't her, then it's her. I don't know what you're talking about. She called me just to start off. Mamie took a shot. Is that water? Is there a problem with me drinking water? Laquisha. Laquisha? Yeah. Are you provoking, Mamie? I'm not. You see, I ain't saying nothing. Mamie, is he provoking you? Alright, so this is what I wore. I forgot to I had a little pee, but Fashion Nova jumpsuit, leather jacket from Torrid, Yeezys, and Michael Kors bag. Oh Lord. Snug as a bug on a rug. How snug do bugs on rugs be? But um anywho. I'm about to go ahead and call it a night. I'm tired. I'm tired. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, Of course, make sure you like this video. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. And have those notifications turned on so that when I post a video, you will know. And you won't miss it. I broke my nail and it hurts. So... I'm going to have to go get it fixed. I broke this nail. This one broke. I glued that one back. And this one broke. So. I'm going to just go get them soaked off and just get a, a fresh set. Because. Yeah, this one really hurt. This is the only one that hurts. It was bleeding. I tried to clean it as much as I could. And I had to try to get the nail off. Ooh. And I still can't get that part off because it's like such a skin and it will not come off by itself. So I'm just trying to let it heal before I go get them soaked off. Woo, Lord. If no one else has told you that they love you, just know that Kenneth and Nisa does love you. Oh, y'all. Also, I forgot to mention that I posted a TikTok and I posted in my shorts, but... There's a TikTok that I posted on my reels with a Shein dress on. Shein actually reposted it on their Instagram. And as of right now, it's like 2.3 million views on that video. 2.3 million, y'all. Like, I am humble. Now, them people in the comments is going ham. They is talking about me. And saying all kinds of things. But, I mean, I don't care. My friends, even my goddaughter, Lord, I had to tell her to get out of them people's comments. Because she was in the comments, you know, going back and forth with the people too. But, like, I've determined, like, well, first of all, if you aren't confident in yourself, like, the internet is definitely not the place to be. Because they try... They will bring your ass down if you let them, honey. But thank God I'm confident in who I am inside and out that it just doesn't bother me. Like, 
when people, you know, say things about me, they tell me I'm fat. Like, I didn't know. I'm fat? Well, that's news to me. Like that, I don't know. I don't know what people... I don't know what their intentions are or like they're giving you like all this criticism when you're not asking for any or asking for advice. Like it'd be different if I was asking for advice, but I'm not asking for anything. Why are you giving it, giving me advice? I don't get it. I just don't get how people can go to someone's page, to someone's videos, and physically comment something negative. Like, I don't know. If it's me, like, if I don't like something, I'm just keep it moving. It is what it is because at the end of the day, you are who you want to be. And you make your own decisions and you do what you want to do. Because what you say won't make me shit, so... And it's, and vice versa, no matter what I say, oh, I didn't like those pants or that shirt. It doesn't matter. Anywho, that's my TED Talk, honey. Live your life for you. Be who you are. Be comfortable and confident in yourself, regardless of what you look like, regardless of what you weigh, regardless of anything like that. Be happy, safe, and secure. And knowing that you are who God intended for you to be. And if somebody got something to say, something like be like truly unbothered. Like I looked at them. Like most of the time, I don't even look at the comments. But like I looked at a few of them and, and, and giggled to myself. Now it was one where they said I look like a caterpillar. The caterpillar emoji. They got down with that one. They got down with that one. Because I did look like the caterpillar emoji. But I just mean it hateful stuff. I just be like, whatever. Or I just giggle at it. But they can watch the the video as many times as they want to. But for every negative comment, every negative view, you push me further and further out to a platform that I wouldn't necessarily reach and exposing me to people who would never normally see me on a daily basis anyway. So Thank you. Thanks. But you just really have to ignore the negativity and, and just stand on what you believe in. Period. Point blank. I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.